After several weeks of deliberations and fine-tuning of plans, it is now official that the Kenya Defense Forces have formally joined AMISOM. Kenya, as we are going to discuss, has now formally joined AMISOM. Announcing the new developments while briefing the Defense Committee, Chief of Defense Forces General Julius Karangi says the Kenyan mandate will now be to enforce peace and though KDF is now under the AMISOM mission, the Kenyan sector will be under the command of a Kenyan sector commander. Our mandate in AMISOM is peace enforcement. And peace enforcement entails that you fight for peace. According to Defense Minister Yusuf Haji, Operation Linda Inchi has so far liberated over 90 kilometers into Somalia and KDF are expected to liberate more towns in the coming days from the Al-Shabaab militia. Uh, it is perceived all over the world that the incursion by the Kenya Defense Forces have uh, changed totally the game of war in Somalia um, with a very minimal uh, loss of life. This comes three days after a grenade attack at the Machakos bus terminus, which claimed six lives, with 74 people still admitted at the Kenyatta National Hospital. 24 have so far been discharged. These uh, uh, attacks of last Saturday as maybe one of those attempts that we are able to take place out of about 100 of them which were being planned. According to Internal Security Minister Professor George Saitoti, one suspect was nabbed by the police at Tumoja Estate and is helping the police with investigations. Already we have arrested a suspect and the investigations are ongoing. We are optimistic. We shall easily get to know who are involved. The suspect has been identified as Sylvester Omondi, a.k.a. Osodo. Kenya now joins Uganda, Ethiopia, Djibouti and the West African nation Sierra Leone that will be a full member by the end of June. Meanwhile, poor party leader Rafael Tuju this afternoon visited victims at the Kenyatta National Hospital. Let us uh, understand that uh, we have external enemies who would like to harm us uh, for whatever reason, but they would like to harm us. Tuju has called on all Kenyans to be extra vigilant by reporting any suspicious incidents to the police. Michael Njenga, Citizen Live at 9, Nairobi.